The IPA Supermutt is the industry's leading fully diagnostic, remote-controlled trailer lighting and air brake testing platform built proudly in the USA. The following video is a guide to implementing the Supermutt in your shop. In terms of the electrical system, the Supermutt will allow technicians to power trailer lighting while detecting any wiring issues including poor grounds, open, crossed, as well as overloaded or shorted circuits. In regards to trailer brakes, the Supermutt will not only access ABS blink codes, but also perform leak down tests on the air brake system while allowing activation of trailer surface brakes via wireless remote. For more information, please consult the included instruction manual or call us at 888-786-7899. To begin using your MUT, you will need to supply either 12 or 24 volts DC depending on your trailer's needs. The MUT comes with two options for power input. The Super MUT has a specially designed battery cabinet sized for a Group 31 battery. To install, simply attach the supplied ring terminals to the battery posts. Power can also be supplied by an external source, such as an AC to DC power supply or additional battery. Using the supplied two-pronged external power connector, simply attach your power source and plug the socket into the receptacle on the left-hand side of the unit. The MUTS remote control come pre-programmed from the factory. However, up to 24 remotes can be programmed to each unit. To program a new remote or reprogram a remote after changing the battery, Simply turn the unit on while simultaneously holding down the large button on the remote for two seconds and then release. Before using the remote function, install the supplied antenna into the antenna lug. Using the antenna, the remote will work comfortably from a range of 70 feet, allowing you to easily walk around the trailer. Please note certain conditions such as high voltage power lines, metal buildings, or closely parked trailers may affect remote function. Now that your MUT is set up, it is important to understand how the MUT's onboard microprocessor uses electrical diagnostics to automatically troubleshoot your trailer. Upon initial startup, the MUT must establish ground integrity to perform further tests. On healthy trailers, each light on the circuit selection panel will go out and the ground integrity light will remain solidly lit. However, if a ground issue is present, all circuits on the panel will blink and you will not be able to proceed. This feature will help you point out whether the trailer is wired for a pin ground, chassis ground, or most commonly both. If ground integrity is not established via the cable, attach the supplied ground clip to the trailer chassis. If this step does not establish proper ground integrity, then assess the trailer wiring to find the ground interruption. Once the MUTS microprocessor establishes a solid ground, it will then scan for any open circuits. If an open circuit is present, the afflicted circuit will blink at initial startup. This will indicate the presence of a cut wire or disconnected terminal. Open circuits do not prevent further testing and will show up again on the individual circuit scan being confirmed by the open circuit indicator flashing. In addition to ground integrity and open circuits, the MUTS Advanced Onboard Diagnostics features pulsar mode to identify overloaded or shorted circuits. When an overload or short is present, the overload indicator light will illuminate and the fault detection alarm will sound. Additionally, the MUD will automatically circuit break, sending intermittent power to the afflicted circuit in a safe manner so that technicians can attempt to locate the cause of the short by shakedown testing the wire without blowing fuses or damaging the harness. In addition to ground integrity, open circuits, and overloaded circuit diagnostics, the MUT will also indicate any cross-wired circuits. In the event of a cross circuit, also known as backfeed, the selected circuit will remain illuminated and the crossed circuit will blink and fault detection alarm will sound. In this example, the clearance and tail tag circuits are crossed, which is the most common scenario.
The MUT also features the ability to test individual trailer cables for electrical faults. It is recommended to always scan your test cable before trailer testing to avoid any erroneous faults. To test cables, simply plug the cable into each side of the MUT and turn on the unit. The MUT will then perform the initial startup scans for ground integrity and open circuits mentioned earlier. To check the cable for any cross-wired circuits, simply run through each individual circuit using the remote or the control knob and pay attention to the unit for any fault indications. Once the test cable has been verified to be in proper working condition, you may then proceed to testing your trailer. The MUT was built with four trailer lighting selection modes to fit your testing preferences. Individual lighting circuits can be activated by simply rotating the MUT's selection knob to the desired circuit. Additionally, the circuits can also be selected via the wireless remote. With the antenna installed, you can comfortably walk around a 53-foot trailer switching circuits on the fly. To do this, simply press the large button on the MUT remote, making sure to listen for any fault indication alarms. Additionally, the MUT also has a built-in auto cycle mode, which will automatically switch circuits every 5 seconds. To utilize this feature, select any circuit other than auxiliary or brake light and press the MUT control knob for one second. The auto cycle indicator light will illuminate confirming engagement. To cancel auto cycle mode, press and release the control knob again, which will turn off the auto cycle indicator light. Finally, the MUT will also allow you to turn on all circuits at once. All circuits on mode can be activated either via the control knob or the wireless remote. Using the wireless remote, press and hold the large button for 5 seconds and then release. Using the control knob, press and hold for 10 seconds. After the second beep, release and all circuit indicators will light up. To cancel all circuits on, either press the large button on the remote or turn the control knob. The MUT can access ABS blink codes in three main ways to match the manufacturer's specifications. First, by rotating the MUT control knob back and forth across the auxiliary circuit, power will be interrupted to the auxiliary line. Additionally, the MUT can apply power to either the auxiliary or brake light circuit while flashing the opposite again depending on the manufacturer. To apply constant power to auxiliary and flash brake, Select the auxiliary circuit and depress the control knob for each brake light pulse required. For systems requiring the opposite, simply reverse the process, selecting the brake light circuit for constant power and depressing the control knob for each auxiliary pulse. For more detailed information, please consult your ABS system manual or contact the manufacturer. Before testing trailer air brakes, ensure that trailer wheels are safely chocked to prevent rolling. First, supply clean shop air via the MUTS air input port. Next, connect both the service and emergency side glide hands to the trailer, ensuring a proper seal. The MUT provides a simple solution to leak down test both service and emergency brake lines. To leak down test the emergency side, First, ensure the unit is powered on. Then, make sure the air brake control switch is set to emergency. From here, open the emergency side ball valve and use the internal regulator to set testing pressure. The maximum air input is 120 PSI and the recommended testing pressure is 100 PSI. Once the desired testing PSI is reached, Lock the regulator in and close the emergency side ball valve, paying close attention to the emergency side air gauge looking for any pressure loss, which would indicate a leak in the system. Once the emergency side has been tested, proceed to the service side by flipping the air brake control switch to the service setting and opening the service side ball valve. Once the service side has charged, 
to the desired testing PSI, close the service side ball valve, and again, pay close attention to the service side air gauge looking for any pressure loss. The MUT also provides remote activation of service side brakes to allow for one man testing, stroke measurement, and engagement timing assessment. To utilize this function, first make sure the MUT is switched on. Then ensure the air control switch is in the emergency position and the emergency side ball valve is open. Charge the emergency side with the desired testing pressure recommended at 100 PSI and open the service side ball valve. Next, set the air brake control switch to the remote position. Then, to activate the service brakes via the remote, simply press the small button on the remote and cycle brakes as needed for your testing operation. Utilizing the remote service brake application function will help find developing problems as well as adjust slackers and measure pushrod stroke in real time, verify engagement timing, and find leaky servo cans. This concludes the SuperMutt video manual. We thank you sincerely for purchasing a SuperMutt trailer tester proudly built in the USA. Since your business and your customer experience are very important to us, if ever you run into a technical issue, please contact us immediately. A trained technical support staff member will be glad to assist you, and in the event of a warranty issue, we have a strict 24-hour repair-replace guarantee.